What's up, YouTube peeps? It's Jeff, and I'm back for another Thirsty Thursday. Hopefully, you guys are all having a good Thirsty Thursday, getting a drink on, having a great time. So, this week, I have... This one intrigued me when I saw it. It's the Vermont Cider Co. Company Ingrained Hard Cider Aged in Whistle Pick Rye Barrels, made with 100% American apples. So, it's my two favorite drinks. Hard cider and uh, whiskey. Well, why? But yeah, cider aged in whiskey barrels. I like this. I like it already. Uh, Six point nine percent alcohol, naturally gluten free, and uh, doesn't really say how long it's aged in there. Be kind of nice to know, I guess. I don't know. But. Yeah. Pretty cool label. Price point, two ninety nine. Not too bad. Uh, after I got it, I bought two. I think I bought two of them. I saw they had a four pack, and it was like, I think eleven ninety nine. So pretty much the same price. Uh, let's give it a pop open and uh, see what the color looks like. I'm kind of interested. Let's see what the color looks like. Not sure if it's gonna, like I said, it depends on how long they aged it in the uh, whiskey barrel. I feel like it would get some of that char color, kind of like your, uh, like KBS where it's like super dark color. It's, that's, it's a step, so that's already pretty dark. But it's not crystal clear. It's It's got a little bit of more color to it. But, uh, I was figuring a little bit more darker, not like like regular apple cider, like that dark, but kind of somewhere in between, like a sparkling cider, that like crystal clear kind of color, and so it's a little, like I said, it's a little darker, not too crazy. I get a very slight, it's, you get hit with the apple flavor, the nice apple cider flavor. It's right at the tail end, you get a little bit a little bit of like a barrel uh, smokiness to it. It's very faint. You really, I was, I was hoping for a look, you know, I might be weird, but I would really like a nice, you know, after taste. I'm hoping it has a nice, almost smoke, smoky apple taste to it. Probably smell, sounds weird to some people, but like I said, that's what I kind of feel like I expect from something that's been aged in, uh, you know, rye barrels, but, uh, let's give it a try. Cheers. You, you get it there. It's very subtle at the end there. You do get that nice little whiskey, uh, subtle taste to it. Starts off nice and just Nice apple-y, cider taste. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's not, it's not super there, but it's, it's, it's there. Like, like I said, you get that, um, that rye taste in there, but nothing too over pungent. So, uh, oh, I feel like it might be hard with cider to really get like another flavor. Well, they do with like, like those, like the cider they did with the blueberry. I feel like maybe the berryness you get a little bit more, but to get like the smokiness, it seems like it's, but again, it de depends on how long they aged it in that barrel for is, uh, I feel like where you're going to get your, uh, different flavors from. Because it doesn't say anything on here how long they actually aged it in there. You know, if they only did it for a couple weeks, then it's not really, I don't think you're going to get too much of a flavor profile off it. But if they did it for like six months to a year, then that would, would think that you would get a little bit more out of it. So maybe they're somewhere in that sweet spot of like two to four months where they're just getting, maybe, you know, this, this is what they could be actually going for. It's just that very subtle rye taste to it. Because I personally, I, you know, like I said, I like whiskey, I like ciders. So bringing them together in the middle there would be perfectly fine with me. Um, I just ran always awesome. Maybe they have another one that's like super, you know, like double aged or something like that, or triple aged. Who knows? 
Kind of like the uh, different whiskeys there. You know, double, triple aged and whatnot. But still super tasty. I can see myself enjoying a little bit more there. Like I said, I, you know, I, I should be careful what I wish for because they could come out with one that's just like, you know, in your face, whiskey tasting and nothing cider. So going from the cider, I, like I, said, I, I really enjoy it. I just, I don't know. Me personally, I could see it being a little more smoky, more uh, of that, you know, rye taste to it. But still super tasty. I give this a solid four and a half out of five. I uh, really enjoy it. Uh, if you guys have tried this one, let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, like I said, it's from Vermont Cider Company, and it's uh, the uh, rye barrels are from Whistle Pig, which are both Vermont companies for like some of the rye from Whistle Pig, and this uh, Vermont Cider Company is out of uh, Middlebury, which is like dead center in the state. Um, yeah. Super solid, like I said, four and a half out of five. Again, if you tried this one, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll check back with you guys for the next Thirsty Thursday. Hopefully you all are having a good Thirsty Thursday. And I'll check with you guys in the next one. See ya! <laughs>